ecosystem and stack. Gotcha. So scale is a layer two on top of Ethereum, correct? It's I, I like to call it, it's a layer two plus. And I think a lot of people, uh, there's nuances depending on your definition of what's layer two. If there's a consensus that happens on layer two, some people say, hey, that's not layer two. Layer two is only if there's a centralized server that's running a fraud proof. Um, and you know, we we don't think that's a good model. We we prefer to use consensus and use a decentralized network to run in tandem with with Ethereum. Mm -hmm. And so with scale, you actually get layer one level security coupled with uh, you know a layer two speed, if that makes sense. That does and sense. additional functionality that you can't get in other networks because there's just a lot more happening because of the app specific blockchain network. It's almost like if you go to Amazon and you have an app and I have a game, mm -hmm. Amazon doesn't just give me access to the same big database everyone else uses. And if they did, you know, so let's say let's say Twitter's using the same database they give me, and all of a sudden something's trending, all of a sudden it costs me way more and makes my makes my system slower because mm -hmm. I'm sharing this compute load. What Amazon does is they use all this containerization and and you know, cutting edge technology to give you your own database that you can make bigger or smaller and tailored to your needs and your requirements. And scale does the same thing, but for blockchains. Got it. So in terms of scalability, when they create a new blockchain, for example, for a new project or a DAP smart contract, whatever it may be, what what is the scalability potential for that project? Like, is there a, a TPS limit per Per blockchain, it almost sounds like you're creating all these side chains or something. Um, but like, yeah. how much can something scale in terms of a DAP, or um, or is it limited to? I know, I, I know what you're getting. At. Yeah, so so it's limited to about two thousand transactions per second for a a large scale chain, mm -hmm. which is a lot, right? <laughs> yeah, it is a lot. I. Yeah, yeah, it's it's so you know I don't think there'll be any issues with regards to throughput, um, but that's a that's for a large chain. If you want a very small chain, you might be getting twenty transactions per second, but the cost is dramatically lower because you're basically buying less of the network, and it's right. almost like Amazon buys a bunch of servers, they run them in their server farms, and their employees run them. Scale doesn't have employees. Everybody in a communal fashion owns the network and anybody can show up, run a server, add it to the pool of servers, then any application can show up and buy a component of that or buy a piece. And I could buy a little piece and get 20 transactions per second. I could buy a big chunk and get 2000 transactions per second. But the cool thing about it is not just the TPS, it's that it doesn't cost the users anything when they're in the scale chain. The mm. developer buys the chain purchased in scale tokens for a six month period or 12 month period or 24 month period. And then they can use it as much as they want up to the capacity it can handle based off of the load that they, you know, the, the quantity of the network they've purchased. So let's say the network's 100, 100 units and I purchased one unit and I just pay for that in advance. And when my users come and whether it be I have a game or a DeFi application, they're not paying per byte. And so there's mm -hmm. not a, uh, unfortunately with a lot of blockchain products, there's a reverse network effect or a negative network effect where every time I use the product, it costs me more. And so I disincentivize to keep using it more. I wanna use it less and try to get the most out of less use. Scale, like right. web two used to be like that. You had to pay to use things. And then they're like, hey, let's let people use it as much as possible. Then they can pay in increments um, with a yearly package or a monthly package. And then when they're using too much, they can buy more and more. And enterprise software went along the same arc. And, and so Scale is just frankly copying those best practices and mm -hmm. being able to pull in while not losing decentralization or security properties. That's good. That's good to have that principle. Is there, is there a realistic scenario where something could potentially need more than 2,000 transactions per second? Or is that asking for a lot? I mean, I, I think it is. I mean, so let me just give some quick numbers. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, because I was curious okay, so, about uh, that because I wasn't sure like realistically, realistically how many of these projects use or have that much uh, platform demand in terms of TPS. 
Yeah, I mean, and it's it's basically it's 172 million transactions a day. Mm -hmm. Right. That's a lot. Right. And so if you really were being gated, you know, that's for a large chain like that's that's a tremendous amount of transactions. So let's say you were at a point where like, well, we need more. Um, and maybe you don't need that many throughout the course of the day, but you might run into a peak time where like, hey, just for one hour a day, we're getting hammered and we need 4,000 per second or something like, and by the way, this isn't the issue of today. What matters more is low cost and fast finality. So it's less about the number of transactions. It's the fact that the blockchain can register that transaction in one second with finality mm -hmm. compared to on Ethereum, right? We put something through and it's like 15 seconds or 60 seconds or 10 minutes if it's a big, you know, big gas load, right? And I didn't put enough uh, enough gas into that. Right. So, um, and so those those matter more, but what you, you could also do with scale, you could actually get multiple scale chains and try to design your smart contracts to point to different chains to try to offset the load a little bit. And in a way you could think of scale as shards, instead of a side chain, it's like a shard of a big unit that keeps sharding and you get your own shard, you may want to just like ETH2 has 32 of these shards and they offset the load through shards. Mm -hmm. An application could set up multiple smart contracts and just have them point to different shards and get more throughput if they wanted. 